Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to April readings. This reading, loves, is a monthly reading for single Sagittarians or Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. Highly could resonate with you this reading, and highly might do not. As I always say, take what resonates, what speaks to you, and of course, leave what doesn't. Singles, let's see here, loves, what we have for you, and what events, what energies, what blessings are on the way to you. And of course, I will be straightforward for your reading. I know many of you want this kind of readings and for those who can't take any side of energies or feel like that's my reading, you know, that's how are the energies. I'm just a messenger, take it or just leave it. High Priestess, you are you are quite strong into your own energy all this month. My apology, my phone. It's 12.00 when I start your reading, so I speak to you. Fathers of you, the 12th, the date of 12th of this month might be very strong. But also, High Priestess is the number two in the majors, but also represents Pisces. Some of you might deal here with the Pisces or might act like a Pisces. What I mean through that is no matter whatever comes to you this month, loves, no matter what's ahead of you, be like a be like a fish. Slippery, but at the same time, no way you're hitting. Let's see. Yes, whatever here is, one step at a time for you, darlings. Moon, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, and Justice. So what I'm hearing for you, singles, whatever here you are gonna do or gonna, you know, experience this month, is a it's a very strong energy from i can't see ahead but i can feel what's ahead so definitely here it's about feelings or what you feel that's coming in or what you feel is there moon speaks of the nighttime the darkest energy here or being in the dark doesn't mean you've been in a bad situation. For some of you, you are moving from um, a hard situation to something much more stable. And King of Pentacles. Certain new energies that are hitting towards you that you might need to take care of them. That might be also some... Um, new responsibilities for some of you on the horizon could be around your work or could be could be around your um, your house or home yes six of swords i see also movement for many many of you let's see the first card chariot Speaking of the movement, again, there's a lot of water energy, which that really speaks here. You might be overly emotional this month. Like sometimes your energy could be higher, sometimes could be lower. So certain things here, try to balance them out. Temperance. Speaking of temperance, balance here. Full. Wow. Wow. And the Ten of Swords. It's kind of like whatever it's coming in for many, many of you, don't take it personally or don't take it close to your heart. Because I I have the emotions, but at the same time, I um, 
I have the swords. And that is kind of like balance your emotions and your thoughts at the same time. Even though you have a lot of things to do this month or a lot of responsibility to, to go and fulfill, give yourself one step at a time. I will clarify this Ten of Swords, what this is for. Hermit, another major arcana. For some of you, you might get to one point this month that all your sacrifices are worth or not. Because I see you quite, look at this, all just one person in here. Okay, I'm not speaking here that you are going to miss or meet someone this month. I don't see you meeting anyone. For some of you, you might deal with certain uh, things that are ongoing already. Could come even, um, even at the end of February. So it could be a situation here that it's definitely going on. And with the Hermit here, you will analyze, should you put more effort or not? Should you look for it more or not? But I feel here you will realize certain things that you probably, till this moment, you did not. There's big, big energies here. For some Sagittarius, seeing movement into your life, if that was very slow movement, now the movement you you are looking or the movement you had it's kind of like amplifies it's going faster a little more faster certain things here needed to happen in a slow pace not in a fast pace Let's see here. Was the Hermit, Ten of Swords, one more card, Seven of Wands. Certain things here you are not going to resist. You are going to let them go. Because look at here, so much resistance. Certain things here you feel like it's pointless to resist any longer. Because it seems here for many, many Sagis, Whatever you are going, whatever you are moving, it's some, something new. Could be completely new or could be something that really, really speaks to you of a ease in your life. For others of you, yes, you're moving from, um, from certain energies that kept you in the dark to the light. But I feel here for some of you, especially those who have been through some hardships. It's kind of that's over or it's ending. It's ending because there's new beginnings. However, it was quite rough energies here. Let's see here. I want to clarify also this Eight of Swords because something here you... You might not feel completely confident for yourself. Let's see what this is for. Oh, yeah. How about a new beginning? Why are you not confident about a new beginning here, loves? For some of you, this is something new in your work or finances. This new energy, it's quite strong. Okay. Next to the Libra, the Justice energy, definitely for some of you, if you've been waiting for quite a while to a response for a job or for some kind of documents, you have, it's like you, around the full moon, the full moon is happening in Scorpio this month, and it's on the 23rd of April. And 23rd marks the number 5, which there is movement. You don't see kind of this energy, or you feel it takes forever, or it's quite impossible. But yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I feel here, whatever here you, you don't feel is, 
it is coming. Many, many of you, the Sagittarius, who, who are looking here for a new beginning, especially a new beginning in work life, financial life, job life, career, speaking of, that's a new beginning. And it seems here that a lot of movement happens after that. Where you are hitting with the chariot? Where are you hitting with that chariot? Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. Five of Swords. Queen of Swords. And the Hierophant. For some of you, you might, um, you might want to go and study new things. I feel here you, you are looking here for certain things to, to go for. And now you are going to go ahead with them. Whatever is there. It's like you, you put the emotions aside and you do what's right for you or what you think is right for you and for your stability. For some of you, this is kind of going back to school or going back to study something. There's something here you figure out what I want to do next. And it seems here what you're going to do next, it's something here that definitely will bring you stability. A lot of earthy energy here, which earthy energy also speaks about the 3D life. If I manifest something, if I put something there, gotta come in the 3D plane as well. And it's kind of like, for some reason I feel here many Sagittarius, it's kind of feeling in a pivotal moment in their life. Or let's say you are feeling at the crossroads but not necessary that you don't know what to do. But you feel here there's many things you want to accomplish. But it's kind of setting out the priorities. What you want to prioritize first. I feel here there's a lot of things will start for you, coming in for you. But you, you more likely will take it one step at a time. Whatever those things are. I also feel here, for those of you who had a very hectic life, hectic energy, a lot of back and forth, you, you might take some time to rest or to heal certain things. I see people around you, but it's kind of like they are in background. What that means too is even those people are around you, it's not like you are not respecting them or you are not engaging with them. That's not the thing. It's more likely you appreciate who is around you, but you don't rely who is around you or for whoever is around you. It's kind of like you, you know what you need to do. Even though some, some people might tell you, ah, uh, are you... Are you knowing what you do or are you clear what you do? You just kind of like, I know what I, what I got to go, what I got to do. Let's see, was the, was the fool here for my Sagittarians? world seven of pentacles it's kind of like you you let go something that you indeed here had a hard time to or you you are not gonna need or wait for anyone to to tell you do this or do that you it's kind of you taking action you do the things 
on your own. Six of Pentacles. Lovers. Knight of Swords. Five of Wands. I also see here and two of wands. I also see here for for some Sagittarius. There's certain uh, person or people around you that might cause some kind of conflict or there's some kind of old conflict. I don't feel here you are going to get into, you are more likely choose to get away from, or you don't want to get any more in the, when, in the past, or past things. It's kind of like, if that was in the past and was not resolved at that time, that's mean it's not my business to, you know, look again. It's like, I'm not going to, you know, shuffle in the the bad, you know, stuff because stinks. I choose to move away from for a reason. And I don't need to know what else is there. It's kind of some of you, if you were looking for certain answers from someone and you didn't get answers for quite some times, you don't even look for them anymore. Or you kind of make peace with that. It's like for me that the chapter it's close. If you've been thinking, because I see here for some of you, you've been worried for a very long time about certain things. You are not going to be worried any longer. Or you are basically leaving behind those things. Not because you want it or you like to, but because you know you grown up. You, you move away from that energy. And Spirit says you, you've done one of the greatest, best decisions anyone can do. It's not like, hey, unfinished business cannot be finished. But for some of you, just feel here that why should I resolve something what is not entirely my own responsibility? It's kind of you take responsibility for, for your own good. There's Sagittarius who, who this month could realize that it's not their responsibility for someone to grow up or to understand certain things or even think the way you think. And it took you a while to understand that we are all different. Just because you're good doesn't mean the other person is good as well. So many, many of you, you are realizing certain things and that's when, um, when you realize you have a very great key in your hands to move forward. As well, we have three knights. The only knight missing here, we have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is that chance, that opportunity to go forward we do have the page this page of cups and next to the page of cups we do have the moon so don't be afraid to go ahead choosing something that is good for you no matter whatever that is all right loves and don't feel that selfish because i feel here some of you might feel like well if I do that, that's really selfish of me. Taking care of you, it is not selfish. Taking responsibility for your own life, it's not selfish. Another thing here, what I'm seeing is this sevens. The seven of cups, the seven of pentacles, and the seven of wands. The seven of swords is the one missing. The seven of swords is the one who kind of like trying to get away with the things or move faster into the things or no matter how I do it works in my favor but I feel here this is not entirely whatever you do to be in your favor because I feel here with this ten of swords you got quite a few swords in your back here 
And now, why you should take, that's the hermit most likely here, why should I take again swords when I can spread them out and be like a hedgehog and people not going to try to do that on me? I give the example of the hedgehog because for some of you, you might be a little spiky, not spooky, but spiky. And certain people will realize that, that they can't get to you as quick as they want to, or they can't interfere in your energy the way they want to. So that seven of swords that is missing here is, is like a weapon, is like a protection. For some of you, it's, it's not the same um, price you give to others, but if others done certain things to you in the past, it's not like you do them, you do that to them, but you do you, basically. Wow. Let's see. Sagittarius, what advice we have for you regards this month, regards whatever you are going through? Queen of Wands. So we have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands here. We have the Ten of Cups. It's like you kind of find the key to, to success, to happiness. And yes, not everyone can, can be around this, the hangman. It's like thinking a little differently moves you away from a situation or certain things that you felt impossible to. So that's changing. As I said, around the full moon in Scorpio this month, you will experience a lot of changes or a lot of things will show up in a very different way that they've been to. For some of you, the things you worked on will show up. For others of you, you gain your confidence back. For other, for other certain things here that was postponed will start moving forward. Yes, look at this, four of wands. And what I'm feeling here, whatever change is happening, it's, it's something here amazing. For some of you, your job or a new job starts to pick up. For others of you, there's certain changes in your home that are going to happen, what you're going to do that will change something. It's kind of, this change will not affect only you, but those very close to you. Not those people who are, you know, just because around you, but those very close people. And I feel here, there is someone here very proud of you. I feel also there is some kind of um, energy here that you are manifested for quite a while but yes this is happening definitely it's kind of also there is a, um, a big blockage taken away from you with this full moon in Scorpio whatever that is but for some of you might even change your home based on the, the events that are coming in for you and those events are coming in quick. The only ace missing here in our reading is the Ace of Swords. For some of you, yes, you are not in the dark anymore. There's coming clarity. For some of you, there's some kind of contract you're going to sign. And that is kind of the... Because Ace of Swords might be the key to your future as well. But what I want to see, it, where is the Seven of Swords and where is the Ace of Swords? The next card, we have the Star. For some of you, if you want a move or want something here, you are going to get it. There's something here you are looking for. Also, the Knight of Cups. For some of you, once you go away from some kind of situation or move away from some kind of situation, that's the offer that's coming in or that's the offer you wanted. It's coming here. 
Let's see. Where is the Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords? Out there. Ace of Swords. It's here. Five of Cups. And the next we have Six of Swords. So once you decide that, yes, I will leave whatever I need to leave behind, it's not easy. But you know, that's kind of, Ace of Swords is like a healing energy also. The clarity here is like when you, when you feel like, well, should I give up or should I let it go something, that's when it's coming. Okay. And let's see, where is that? Seven of Swords. Okay, so here it is. So Seven of Swords is right next to the Ace of Wands and to the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, again, it's about your abundance, your finances here. So it's kind of everybody does their own thing. I'll do my own thing. It's kind of everything stands in my or I can hold in my own hands. And here we have the, the the Queen of Wands. For some of you, it's like focusing on definitely here important task. Again, I'm hearing certain priorities are more important than any other things. So Sagis, single Sagittarius. That's what I have for you. And yeah, we'll see you next time, darlings. Bye for now.